Hey everybody, welcome to the Novice Fisherman's Guide to the Florida Keys Part 3. Now in Part 1 we went over the rods, reels, lines. Part number 2 we went over hooks. And today in Part 3 we're going to be talking about artificial lures. Now originally I wasn't even going to include the uh, artificial baits in the playlist. Just based on the fact that they can be a bit technical to use. Okay. Uh, there are so many different types and colors and shapes and sizes. Uh, it's very hard for a novice fisherman to understand which one to buy, which one to use, and then on top of that, how to use it, when to use it, where to use it, what to use it for. So it just gets beyond the range of what these videos are about. And remember, what we're looking to do and what I'm trying to show you how to do is catch fish. Okay, Bend the rod, have fun low complications, high rate of return, high success rate, okay? And you're gonna achieve that by using live baits, uh, fresh dead baits, or frozen cut baits. Artificials do work and they have their place, but to keep that percentage high, we're gonna to try to shift and stick with my original recommendations. Now I understand the only reason why I decided to add this is because there are gonna be certain circumstances where it's not gonna be possible for some people to carry a live bait bucket to carry those live baits or a cooler to keep those frozen and uh, dead and cut baits. So an artificial might be the only option that they have. And in that circumstances, okay, I have one recommendation only that I'm gonna to say to, to use, buy and use, and that is the Gulp Alive products. And I'll put a more updated picture of what they look like here-ish. Okay. Uh, I just buy them in bulk and I don't use them that often so they look kind of uh, rough there. But uh, they are the only baits, artificial baits that I would recommend that will fit what we're looking to do which is just catch fish. Okay. What makes them different is that they are a special type of material that absorbs liquid. Okay. It's a two, two part on why this Gulp Alive is so good. Okay, one of the design of the product, it's a tramp or it's a little fluke, nothing real different than a thousand other ones, but these are special in that they're made to absorb liquids. When you see these in the original size without being hydrated, they're maybe an, maybe an eighth to a quarter of this original size, but when you add water to them or any liquid to them, they absorb it and expand and then they get soft and it just holds that liquid in there just like a sponge. Okay, that's part one of it. Part two of it is this liquid. Okay, that's the Gulp, Gulp Alive. And that's a special concoction marinade that they've created that is a fish attractant. And it's one of the only ones that I really know of that actually attracts fish. And the way I know that is there's a lot of different brands out there that have fish attractants built into them. But Gulp is about the only one that you can realistically hook on a line or put on a hook, cast it out, just let it sit there, and fish will come up and eat it. Whereas other artificials will require some sort of motion or activity to make it look like they are alive or real, and then the fish attack them. But with these Gulp products, you have both. They have that ability to look like a natural bait but they actually smell like it and they taste like an actual live bait. And that's the only reason why I'm suggesting that you use those if you don't have the ability to use the other baits like we'll go on to later. Now this is what they look like. This is the gulp shrimp and this is just basically like the gulp minnow or fluke. And what we're looking for, the ones I recommend are just get the shrimp and look for the color of glow basically glow in the dark, some sort of glow in the dark. It could be a glow in the dark body with a chartreuse or I know they've got glow in the dark with a gold head, glow in the dark with different colors. As long as there's some sort of glow in the dark, you're fine. I personally prefer just all glow in the dark, that's it. And that's primarily what I buy. Now, what you'll get to find them for is they roughly sell them in those little plastic bags with this kind of logo on it and they're an eight pack and they generally run about six to seven dollars per pack. 
that's kind of the reason why I don't use them very very often anymore is because it really roughs out to being almost a dollar a piece and fish love these and they'll tear them apart and you go through them pretty quickly but hey we're gonna be catching fish so it's okay the other option is this kind which is the fluke this is more like a minnow this is a shrimp and this is more like a minnow or a small bait fish and again I would just look for is that uh, glow-in-the-dark color uh, this is the three inch uh, they make it also in a four inch. Three inch is fine. Uh, the fluke you can get, I think, in a four inch or a five inch, but that works as well. Again, color, glow, you're totally fine. If you can't find glow, don't worry about it. The 90% of it is the juice. That gulp of live juice, that smell, the texture, that's all that's going to be important. Because like I said, is you could take one of these, put it on a hook, throw it out there to let it sink to the bottom, and fish will eat it just like if you threw on a dead shrimp out there. So no worries about matching it exactly. But that, and we would match it up with a little jig head. Okay, so we could either rig it with just a hook, with a jig head will make it cast easier, as well as give it a little bit of weight on the front so that we could work it and make it look like a real authentic bait. But again, uh, we'll do a small bit about this later on when we start actually doing some fishing. But this part of it, the artificials, I don't really want to recommend. Stick with the live, dead cut baits first. Then if you want to move up to artificials, that's totally fine. Go to my YouTube channel and I use artificials a lot over there and you can see all the different varieties. But for now, just remember, go up alive, three inch shrimp and look for glow or look for the gulp alive in the fluke or any of the minnows if they have a paddle tails or whatnot. It's just that we want that bait size, but make sure it's gulp alive for that scent and flavor. So that's it, pretty plain and simple. I mean, gulp alive and you're golden, okay? And again, it's not that I'm saying that artificials don't have a place, they do, but for what we're doing, not so much. It just it adds to the complexity and we don't want that. We want ease ability to catch fish and just bend a rod. Um, the Gulp products, okay, I'm not sponsored by them or anything. They just have a very unique product that works really well. And if you ever read guide reports or get into it for the people, the guys that strictly use artificials, Gulp is the one that they use pretty much. There's, there's other lures out there for different circumstances. For general fish catching, the gulps are probably pretty much the only way to go there. So feel comfortable that you're not going wrong by buying this stuff. It is a little bit expensive, but you're in the Keys. Things are expensive, but that's just their general price because they are a good product. So anyways, that is it for artificial baits. Uh, again, if you got to have artificials and you're only going to do artificials, Check out my YouTube channel, QS Kayak Fishing. I use artificials to catch all the other types of fish as well. But for here, we just want to have some fun fishing, guaranteed catching or almost guaranteed. So we're going to use this stuff. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.